Hi there. I'm about to flip through my first ever completed junk journal, which I made for my best friend. And um, I'll just dive right into it. So we've got a little pocket here on the inside with all kinds of goodies for journaling. Um, I heard someone ask once, what's a journal card? And, you know, I'm assuming a journal card is something that you journal on the back of, or even on the front of. And, uh oh, I better glue that down, huh? The perfect company makes the ordinary something exceptional. And then I've got a little little paper clip here holding a very tiny envelope with a very tiny letter. I found these heart-shaped, um, what's the word? Paper clip. <laughs> I found those on Amazon. Oh, no, no, no. Those were off of, they were at Joanne in that, like, sort of dollar-ish bin in the paper crafting section. I think the brand is Park Lane, but I could be wrong. Got a little envelope here. It's got little nuggets of inspiration, a lace tab. I made, I did this where you fold up the page. You fold up the bottom of the page and decorated it. This is some, uh, I think it's muslin and some cotton fabric. I got it, Joanne. Uh... Some of these little doodads are from Tim Holtz. I don't remember what all is everything, but I know these are Tim Holtz things and this little paper clip I found on Amazon. I made this little tab. Cute. A belly band. Um, just a little journaling card underneath. And then we have got pages, pages and pages of stuff. Oh, this one was fun. I made a little booklet out of this. Okay. And I'm going to put the, um, a bunch of these printables I got on Etsy and I need to go back and double check who made them. I know I did a, um, my porch prints. This looks like my porch prints, but I'll have to double check. Little pocket, lots of pages. Also found on Amazon. Just Google like cute shaped paper clips or something like that. I found so many cute things. More pages, more pages. And these are not actually coffee dyed. I downloaded a printable of coffee dyed paper and then printed it on the paper because I haven't had time to do any coffee dyeing. More pockets, little journaling card. I thought that was cute. Little um, trim on the edges just to, I think um, on these pages they didn't print all the way to the edge. So I put a little trim on them to um, hide that. A little paper clip I made. I love these old shorthand books. It was a, it's a shorthand magazine that I pulled these pages from. I made a little pocket out of this clock. We've got a couple things in the pocket. I made another little paper clip. Uh, 
Um, this is Sari ribbon that my friend, my BFF, gave me. So she gets a little bit back. And this one's hard to see. Just a little decoration where the, where the tab is. Another paper clip. Boop. Um, there's the other side of the paper clip. Just, I was having a little fun with some of the stitching and that kind of thing. And when you open this up, you have a little postcard in here for journaling. More pockets, lots of pockets. I need lots of pockets. More pockets. I found these cute daisy stickers on, let's see, at Michael's. And you may have noticed there is a daisy theme to this book. So that was interesting. It was an interesting challenge. And I know this book is very rudimentary. It's very basic um, compared to a lot of the junk journal flip throughs I've seen on YouTube. But, you know, it's my first one and it was fun and it's going to a cool person. There's more more tags to write on. <laughs> I found this photo, this guy, and uh, I have a bunch of photos that it must have been his photo album. There are so many cool pictures. Look at that car. Yeah. So I have fun with those photos. Another tab. I put in some more inspirational, just little things I found on the web and I printed out. These, this paper is so pretty. Love that. In this envelope, I wrote her a letter. So there's a letter in here. But you can't read it. No, that's personal. Let's see. So, uh, more pages, more pages, uh, book pages from a children's book. Um, lots. I put a lot of pages in here, especially for someone who doesn't like to journal, but I thought it would be fun anyway to have a nice chunky book. And maybe she'll find something else to do with it. I put in a little glassine envelope with some shaped paper clips that she'll like. A little more stitching here. here. Nothing too exciting. I have this, these cool binder clips. So I clipped an envelope with the note inside and just a random page from a catalog, I think it is. More pages, more lace, pages and lace, pages and lace. Cool church-like building photo. More pockets. Lots of pockets. This is, this is a three signature book. Um, let's see what else we've got. More cute, cute lace, cute trim. Um, another cute paper clip that I got on Amazon. I guess I'll put links to the paper clips in there too, down at the bottom. Uh, another little notebook that <laughs> appears to be stuck. Okay, it's just a little tight. Um, this actually, this, what I'm gonna show you now, 
is a folio template from my porch prints. And it's just a blank template and you can print it on your paper and then make this folio with whatever paper you want. So we've got this flap with an, a pocket. We've got this flap with a pocket. This one opens up. There's a pocket here and it opens and it has a little pocket. Oops. <laughs> a little pocket here and this little thing folds down and there's a pocket and there's a pocket here all the pockets I love the pockets and then here these are also my porch prints these little um, file folder like doohickeys and I put I stapled in, um, well, I glued in. I stapled it, the paper together and then glued it in. So you've got a little notebook there. And same thing here, a little notebook here. And another page, a little, little timepiece, a little uh, daisy ribbon. And that's the end. I used some scrap fabric for the binding to um, secure it, uh, not secure it, but just kind of beef up the binding a little bit because it, um, the, when I took the book apart, it was kind of flimsy. So that, I didn't, oh, I did put a thing on the back, just some more decorative paper I got on Etsy. So there it is. I hope you've enjoyed this. Have a great day.